So we are getting ready for the gib. So we're going to show you literally everything we do. I mean, you can be prepared, but I don't know how prepared you can really be. Uh, how we're going to tape up the inside of the caravan. Not making the same mistake again. So why not stock up before you go? And that way you're not spending stupid amount of money. So oh, wow. our gib prep maintenance um, really worked. Right, good morning, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Bit late to that cue there. Um, yeah, so today's video is all about um, how we prepared for the gib, uh, what sort of food and what we had planned out and stuff. So, um, and so we're going to go back before we did the gib and show you exactly what we did. Um, and then we're going to skip back to literally today and show you what the caravan looks like, what the car looks like. There's a lot of dust and everything everywhere. And we um, have already washed it. The car washed it. We've washed the outside, but the inside yeah. um, is absolutely mank. Um, cupboards and everything. I need to clean this floor. I've got a wicked gadget I'm going to show you, and hopefully it works. I haven't tried it yet. Look at this. Hey. There's a jumper. Bloody jumper. Kananara is uh, freezing. freezing <laughs> We've been. Tr uh, I've literally said. I reckon I just jinx it because I literally said three days ago. We haven't had a winter yeah, this year. Day, yeah. Anyway, um, I didn't put a jumper on because I know I'm about to work my butt off and clean this caravan. So we're going to head back to a couple of weeks ago and show you exactly what we did to get ready for the gib. So we are getting ready for the gib. So we're going to show you literally everything we do, um, how we are maintaining the bottom of the caravan, what we do to it, uh, how we're going to tape up the inside of the caravan, um, the two weeks worth of food that we're going to get from Woolies, everything like that. So um, yeah, what are you going to do to the underneath the caravan? Uh, I'm just going to go in there and check all the bolts and everything, make sure everything's tight. Uh, we still got all the pull noodles under there from when we did Cape York. Um, so I just gotta, I'm just going to have just have a look pretty much, go over everything. Um, everything's been marked from when we did the axle flip, all my nuts and bolts, so <laughs> all the nuts and bolts, so it's more of a visual check. Yeah, just go over all the nuts and bolts, check all the pool noodles, make sure they're still all good. Um, got to add a little bit of pool noodle on our grey water tank we got put in, just on the pipes. Yeah, I'll just crawl in there and have a look around, really. And yeah, check make the sure wheel Make nuts. sure it is gib ready. Yeah, rock, rock ready. ready. I mean, you can be prepared, but I don't know how prepared you can really be. Yeah. But um, yeah, so um, we'll, we'll kind of show you everything in this episode, what we do, how we get ready, and um, how we store everything away. So let's go. Where's Daddy, Freddy? Yeah, man, hey. Good. I can see all the marks on them. That's crazy how much you're doing those up. Well, they always come loose. They always come loose? Yeah. Really? They're only little screws. Yeah. Not what holes in, it's all glued in as well. Got the frame on the inside as well. It's just these outside ones that seem to rattle loose. Ah. Yeah, well, the bottom ones, isn't it? That's funny. Yeah, they're always loose. They're not very big screws, that's what it is. Yeah. It's like the bloody stove again. Our friends. <laughs> You'll see they have an off-road van and his all come loose too. They've all got small bolt and, um, screws in it, so... Yeah, the stove, we're just going to have to deal with it, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> don't, don't kill me with that screwdriver. I will. Just <laughs> go over everything anyway. Look at that one. Yeah, straight out. <laughs> Probably doing this every day. And see if what we're doing now even makes a difference. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Uh, especially like the pool noodles underneath the caravan and stuff like that. Um, we're getting a different tap fitting, aren't we? No, it's just the drain hoses on the tanks. So they're just a plastic tap and we've broken one before I'm and all the water better. leaks out. Yeah. Yeah, it was at the end of the track luckily. So if I can't find one, I'll probably just pool noodle it or just fold it over and zip tie it. Mm. So if it does break, it doesn't leak out. But yeah, we'll see. I think we need, yeah we need we I need we need water today. on the gib so um, yeah. that would be a disaster if we lose all our water. Alrighty, so this is pretty much what I'm looking for uh, when they put oh, because when they put the grey water tank in this one here. And there's a pipe on the other side there, right there, um, which they obviously have added in um, after we got the grey water uh, when we got the grey water tank put in. So I'm just going to chuck some pool noodles around that. Um, just because they're behind the wheel on the caravan, I don't want them getting busted. There's only a drain hose, but still, I'd like to keep it all in, in, intact. But the rest of it is all 
Yeah, still sweet from when I did it last time. As you can see, everywhere, all noodled up. All there, 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 there. This is a year ago from the Cape. Yeah. So I might just have to add a few more zip ties. As you see, that move is pretty easy, but I'll just chuck a couple more around that. And um, yeah, it's mainly these lines I'm worried about because they're all the water lines, but they're usually pretty good with rocks. But yeah, so I'll chuck some pool noodle on that and show you how I go if it, if it works out in the end. Yeah, how was that angle? <laughs> Well, you'll see if it works out in the end because um, you would have already seen us do the gib. So let's hope we haven't busted anything. And it's probably it's funny because by the time we watch this video back, um, we've done the gib and we might have done damage or whatever. So hope not. I really hope we've, we're preventing it enough. But um, we still don't know what the condition of the gib is or anything. So it's all a guessing game, isn't it? Really? Yeah. So we're just going uh, off. So it's going to be say. rocky. Well, yeah. This isn't this isn't corrugation. It's just for rocks. So. Yeah. It's not going to not be rocky. No, but. not at all. See all right, I'm about to share with you our shopping for two weeks. Brace yourself. Uh, it's um, quite a lot. It was two trolley worths, so which makes sense because uh, we pretty much get a, a trolley per week anyway. But then you kind of have to get a little, little bit extra just in case because you don't know if something's going to go wrong. If you have to stay for longer, there's no good enough shops on the on the gib. Here we go, <laughs> and I'll talk you through my reasonings of getting certain things as well. So we've got. Uh, all of this on here we've got cold stuff meat and stuff on that side and then we've got some snackety doodlies here yeah long life milk speaks for itself we've got fresh milk for freddy but obviously we we need some uh, milk for coffee for cereal extra milk just in case freddy does run out which i hope he doesn't um so dinners i want to talk to you about what dinners we chose so um the beginning of the two weeks we're going to do um, sort of like sausages and um, and fresh uh, veggies so we've got like corn broccoli um, carrots and stuff but obviously it doesn't really last for two weeks so the second week will be uh, more like spaghetti bolognese uh, we've got chicken Kievs with potato and frozen peas um, steak bloomy um, and some peas. Uh, first bit of the two weeks will be um, a lot of fresh veg, uh, fresh fruit, um, and then the second week will be like canned peaches. Um, I've got canned peaches here, a bit of jelly, um, stuff like that. I've got like sort of like cake mixes and stuff just as a backup because otherwise, you know, if we, you know, you never know of our children, they could eat absolutely nothing during the day if they play like, like full on outside and you don't see them or they are just absolutely hungry, like literally every 30 seconds. So um, I'm sure uh, mums and dads out there can relate. You just have no idea. You feel like you feed them and then they don't, I don't know, then they're just hungry all the time. Um, things like we've got pancakes for breakfast because that's gonna be a very easy uh, way of doing a brekkie. Like that is, that's a breakfast. So, you know that's quite small to put in your cupboard which is fantastic and we've just got a little bit of um like sugar-free syrup so um yeah so that's an easy breakfast for us we've got a little bit of bacon and eggs and stuff but not too much because the eggs take up way too much room in our fridge um but yeah otherwise we've got a lot of fruit that is that will keep really well so you know um mandarins um apples got big tomatoes kids love chomping on a bit of a tomato um a little tomatoes as well so yeah so those i'd love to get you know strawberries and whatnot but they take way too much room in my fridge um they don't last very long so um apples and stuff like that i can just keep out or in a cupboard which is fantastic so i've chosen that this time we all know i love my wraps if you've been around for a while um wraps is an amazing alternative for when you cannot get bread apparently there are some spots on the gib where you can get bread but again we don't actually know and um who knows if they even have any um and and it's going to cost an absolute fortune so We've got wraps, we've got a few of them. Uh, Woolies ones are like, oh, two, I don't know, they're bloody cheap. <laughs> and um, and we also, I've been testing out um, how to cook bread myself in the Ziggy and it worked. So we also have that as a backup. 
but that is pretty much it we've got ham and cheese wraps for lunch um, with some chips and stuff but this is this is us so this is all gonna go in the freezer um, hopefully um, it's looking a little bit uh, I've really got to sort it out <laughs> I've got to sort out that as well so it's all looking a bit um, mangled at the moment but should be fine we've got an extra fridge in the car um, so it's normally just a drinks fridge but being off grid for two weeks we are going to be using that for uh, extra milk maybe some cheese stuff like that that we don't need every single day like I've got two cheeses here one can go in the car anyway so that is pretty much me um, it does look a little bit excessive and I don't know if it is um, I would in my preference I'd rather have a little bit more than not have enough because otherwise we'll just end up spending more money uh, when we go out for dinner at say like El Crestro or stuff like that like we're gonna do that once we're pretty sure but we don't want to do it a lot and you know I'd rather spend the money on two bags of Woolies shopping rather than one meal for everyone so that's just my preference um, I will tell you at the end if we got too much if we got too little anyway I'm gonna pack this all away now and um, try and find a spot for everything all the heavy stuff we we're gonna put underneath in the cupboard here we put all of our cans and stuff in here um, and then the lighter stuff can go in the back cupboard above here that we've got a whole area there for so I'm gonna try and sort it out now and um, I will show you after we're done all right as well i'm going to be sacrificing my minced garlic we have had two run-ins now with minced garlic and they have not been good corrugations um somehow seem to open up these jars and i th i swear i've seen something online that you can get that you can kind of like put a sock over it as such i don't know i if, if you do know leave a comment because i'd love to know but otherwise right now i am not having minced garlic chocolate again no joke things in wrappers things like it was absolutely disgusting so I'm forfeiting this bloody jar of um, garlic I am not making the same mistake again so just uh, remember that one <laughs> I quickly want to show you uh, what we do in the freezer I literally it would be amazing if I had a um, vacuum sealed device I don't so I literally just um, put everything into little bags squash out as much air as I can out of them and just literally put them put them in within the servings of everything so yeah we're ready to go this is going to be a bit more jam-packed with Kiev's but otherwise got it down pat of the caravan I'm just going to put um, the lighter stuff so I've just got chips and stuff behind there and um, the cereal and just gonna pack this in as well stay there <laughs> <laughs> another little tip as well um, we learnt this from the Cape which was quite funny so I we used to pack our extra vegetables like underneath um, like our kitchen like you know where the fake floor is or well, not the fake floor but you know where they <laughs> what's it called the, the extra floor space we used to put like vegetables and stuff in there and um, after the after the Cape I think like this it whole went mush. it went to mush like it was literally like a carrot juice there was no part of a carrot left obviously because it's like going up and down in like in between the two bits of shelf and the floor and it just absolutely ruined it and it was so disgusting so my tip is uh, vegetables just pack them if you can't put them in the fridge pack them in a cupboard nice and tightly um, so that they can't move around and um, and do their business because it, <laughs> it was absolutely foul so the that whole shop was about $700 for us which is actually quite normal we pay about 350 ish per shop so it wasn't too bad I've, I, th I feel like I've got a few extra things I probably wouldn't have and um, we've really planned like the meals and stuff and uh, just probably got a few different things that we would have just because it's easier or cheaper or the dinners we wanted pretty much only one of the um, ingredients to be cold and the rest to be hot like in a, a cupboard because obviously we don't have enough fridge space for two weeks which is <laughs> if you think about it or freezer so uh, well for us we don't anyway you know especially once you get a bit of um fruit and veg and stuff in there so that's why we did things like spag bog you've only got the mince that's cold in the freezer uh things like kievs and stuff so that's in the freezer but the rest of the vegetables are out or potatoes you know all that stuff so really think about it think about your fridge space 
It was pretty exhausting though. I'm not telling you. I'm like, I literally went in, got one trolley, and then uh, with all my dry and heavy stuff, and then came back in, and I was like, it's me again. <laughs> I've come for another trolley, um, but I'm sure they get that a lot of bro in Broom. I'm sure they get everyone just um, really getting a lot of food for the Gib, which you kind of have to because there's not a lot along the Gib um, to get or stock up or whatever. So anyway, let's try and um, get it in these cupboards, hey? Wish me luck. changed our mind with the milk placement. TJ doesn't like it up there. And, uh, and those as well. And my jars. Alright, well I think you should just do this. That's just as heavy. tip as well try and take everything out of boxes because um, it's a lot less room which is amazing you can sort of fit it all into the um, little nooks and crannies when you uh, take it out of a box hello <laughs> all right everything is away um, oh my gosh all in cupboards everything is pretty stockety stockety um, yeah we put a couple of bags under the bed here and um yeah i think we're all good to go just gotta now just tidy things up <laughs> but um yep and um, we've got a couple more things to do in the morning before we leave so we'll show you all that and um yeah time to relax and yeah so time to relax for a bit and then um yeah do a few more things in the morning Watch and the we ashes. are gib ready well here wash yet he's watching the ashes right now Bridget, absolutely and loving and life on. oh lovely <laughs> Great night for me, isn't it? Hello guys. All right, we are leaving for the give today. So I'm going to show you exactly how we have our caravan set up. And um, we've got a couple of things outside to show you as well. So you saw at the beginning of the video, we did pool noodling. Um, I've shown you the shop and how to sort of put it around your caravan. Oh, TJ told you that. I did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah so this is us everything goes on the bed like normal um, and then we just go around and tape pretty much everything the plate from the uh, microwave is actually on the bed in a towel we don't normally take that out we've been very lucky with that so far so we just took it out <laughs> just in case uh, so yes yeah, so everything's taped up every cupboard is taped up we are stopping just before the dirt road um, and do doing the fridge just because Freddie likes to eat so there's no point in us doing it now and um, <laughs> and then he will want us to go in the fridge again so we will be going in the fridge and doing that taping that back up <laughs> taping that back up um, when we're ready to hit the dirt road so everything oh this one's hold on we actually find as well sometimes being in a caravan everything's a little bit maybe um, like your cupboards a little bit like oily or like there's some residue on there from obviously from cooking and whatnot we actually find that putting um the wiping it down with alcohol wipes before putting the tape on really works um i don't know it just takes off that residue so i don't know if you have any other suggestions put them below i'd love to hear them because sometimes the tape just does not stick and it's so annoying anyway and then pretty much all the beds we put all the toys down the other end of the bed so that nothing can fall off here. Freddy's is fine, it's all done up. All the fans are straight because you can't have them up when you're driving. Blinds are down. And, hello. So, everything is in the sink here. So, we take everything, we take the sanitizer and the soap out of here because we've actually had it jump out before and go everywhere. Do not want to clean up that today. So, we put it in there, we make sure we put enough stuff around it so it's not gonna move. And, um, 
haven't taped that up yet because I want to show you. We just put the dish rack in there. I've just got some non-slip pads underneath so that hopefully it keeps the um, the shower floor nice and non-scratched. The um, shower head is actually in a um, sock as well, just so that doesn't get wrecked. And that is us. We make sure that these are all down fully. I will be closing that and just putting some tape on just in case. We always just like to do things just in case. <laughs> Bit of tape on that cupboard, obviously just in case again. We're gonna just do this door up as well. And it is all trial and error, that yeah. is right babe, seriously. You just, and then you get to somewhere and some, something didn't work and you'll have to put something in. Yeah. You get somewhere like we did a few places and one of the drawers is on the floor. Oh, so then yeah. you know you gotta take that one up a bit better. Yeah. A bit better. Do you, you want to just show them quickly bit. your fridge? Did you talk about this? No, I haven't, no. So I did put um, in behind that little vent there. Um, I've just put, it's like a foam, so the dust can't get in. It still breathes though, but obviously um, when you cover that up, make sure you take it off or at least leave the door open when you're cooking with gas, because that's the gas vent. Um, we don't have a heater or anything, so that's all good. Of course, our fridge vent. Yeah, so obviously we just cover that one up, um, only because it's on the car at the moment. Uh, once we stop and I chuck it back onto gas, I'll obviously take that off or, you know, it does get hot behind there. The gas is above it, obviously the, the exhaust is up above it, but still gets hot down there. So I cut a little door in there and just use that as a little flap kind of thing. But, um, but um, the beard's getting long, just thought I'd throw <laughs> that in there. All right, so as you would have seen there, um, that was all of our food um, and whatnot. I'm going to show you what food we actually have left in a minute and um, pretty much tell you if we were on par, um, if we uh, ran out of certain things or whatever. But first, TJ is keen to clean his car. So you all would have known if we broke our back. fridge. Yeah, just the back of it. Are you not going to clean inside it? Uh, not today. So Go, on. We'll Go on. Go okay, on. So um, as you would have known, we broke the fridge so... We have a replacement and it's the size of a bloody chest freezer. Oh, it's, Look it's at wicked. that bad boy. Why don't I buy a decent one? <laughs> wow. So this is the Brass Monkey um, brand. It is actually really cool though, like 110 inside. Liter. 110 litre, it was $900. Um, it is Massive. huge, like, and I mean huge. Yeah. Uh, almost, almost too big for the caravan. So um, what TJ is going to do, he's going to change the back of the car yeah, and, clean it all out. and take out the fridge from the car and put that in here just so we can it's maneuver yeah it's smaller yeah. just so we can maneuver around it a bit more because this is um a bit too much uh going oh, yeah, on yeah, for my liking is. yeah freddie's having a bloody tantrum away. freddie you can't keep running away you know he's, telling? Riding the road. He bite the road. Yeah. he's a ferocious beast <laughs> you're not wrong you go watch telly with parker oh he knows that word yeah. Oh, telly time. Watch telly, go and watch telly. Go and watch telly. So, yeah, so we're going to um, show you the food we have left. I'm going to show you um, where the dust, in, dust got into our caravan. Um, I'm going to really scrub these floors because they're absolutely mank. And, um, yeah, need to get onto that. Um, and we're going to show you the car as well. So, and um, so we're also going to cover, you obviously saw what we actually did to get ready for the gib um, and whether that all works. All right, first up is the ute. Um, this is the problem with having a tray on the back. Uh, it does get in. What is it? What is it? A tray? Tub. Oh, it's a tub. Well, and a hard lid that doesn't seal very really well. And a hard lid that doesn't seal very well, yes. So, um, what we're dealing with. The fridge is dirty. <laughs> so this is the fridge we're going to put inside. It's way smaller um, and it's just going to be easier. We're obviously going to clean it. Oh, we? So I'll probably have to take it. Hang on, hang on. I'll probably, well, hang on. it's going in the van. Yeah, who's we? Inside the van's your demo. I'll just put it in there dirty, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's supposed to be black, isn't it? Yeah, touch it. I'm not touching yeah, it. Touch, brush all that dust. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you the inside of the car because that is also foul. And it's just literally like a, a layer of just everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Well, I'm, I'm going to give this uh, car a little bit of a clean because it's just absolutely foul. Yeah, maybe if I help him with the car, maybe he'll help me with the inside. <laughs> Alright, TJ's pretty much got everything out of the back. 
Nice this thing. is atrocious. Have a look at this. Oh, yeah, it's, not, <laughs> it's not pretty. Oh, look! Oh, my golly. <laughs> That's um, pretty crazy, isn't it? We can hose that off at least. At least they say you can do that here. Yeah. So the Kalinara, what, what kind oh, of I have Ivanhoe Car uh, Caravan Park at Kalinara, so they allow you to wash your caravan and car on your site, which is pretty cool. I mean, you're gonna absolutely wreck your site, but I mean, it's pretty cool. Cause we paid for the um, car, wash. car wash, oh my gosh. Caravan park. caravan park, I don't know what I'm on about. We paid for the car wash, we didn't even realize you could do that, but um, it's pretty good, so, oh, that's fun. So at least you can just hose that off. So how are you going to fit that massive fridge in if you've got a fridge? Uh, oh, fridge. I fridge slide in. Oh, you? Or I might put the fridge outside and use this fridge slide. Put the jerry can and stuff on. I could just slide them out. Oh. Maybe. I might take it out though. Jeez, you're a thinker today, aren't you, babe? I think for every day. No, you're not. She doesn't give me credit for it. I <laughs> get lost. <laughs> Bad news. The uh, fridge doesn't go into the car. It's just literally like a centimetre too big. Like the, um, the top of it is an arch. If the lid was flat, it would st it would go in there. How annoying! So now I've got to have this big old um, fridge <laughs> right there, just sitting there. That's okay. I I literally I'm so grateful though that we've actually got an inside fridge because um it is a bloody bugger to just go outside to the car all the time, especially in the middle of the night if Freddie wants some milk or if it's cold in the morning, which I. <laughs> Going off today's weather, I think it's going to be cold in the morning. Next task is to clean this floor. It's not supposed to be this colour. It doesn't look too bad when it's all like this because it's kind of, um, it's got different shades of um, uh, sort of browny, grey colours in there, but it's not supposed to be brown. <laughs> it's supposed to be almost like a, a light grey colour, but it looks pretty brown, doesn't it? So, um, I'm going to use, we got these from um, Mitre 10. I know that Bunnings also has them as well. This came with three attachments. So I'm guessing that's for the toilet. Um, that's for all your little corners. And then I've just got a big one on here for the whole floor. And then I'm just going to use um, some gumption and some hot water and um, really go for it. Because um, I just, uh, it's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> And our floor is sort of that floor, it's got like grooves in it as well. So the, the dirt literally just sits right inside the um inside the grooves and it's really hard to get out. Let's go, I'm gonna put some music on and uh clean away. <laughs> before all right and that is the after how insane is that it literally looks like a whole new caravan that is absolutely insane and to be fair using the drill piece is really really easy um it probably still takes us the same amount of time but it's just obviously less effort but um oh i don't want to see any red dirt ever again <laughs> but um, i just got to do a couple more cleaning jobs things like this so we obviously when we went to the, the uh, caravan wash yesterday um, I might have to actually take that fully off and unscrew it and wash it out but that's all come through from the car wash but yeah otherwise it's just um, the normal mundane dust that's been settled on pretty much everything so I've just got to wipe that over and um, <sighs> and then be gone like even our vents look at those <laughs> <laughs> so probably just don't if you really really love your van and you don't want it to get dirty don't go on the gib <laughs> just everything just has a bit of a, a layer of dust. yeah i think i made him feel guilty early and now he's cleaning for me we probably didn't no because i finished the cut i need your help with the roof right <laughs> no sure. is, this, is that why you're cleaning no because you need my help that. now um, strongly suggest a dust reduction system oh yeah <laughs> if you can get one yeah we went into um clinton and belinda's van uh, pretty much after every trip and had a look and um there's just no dust anywhere <laughs> it was horrendous like I, and then you walk into ours and there's just like it's just it just feels like it's a film of dust in the air all right just opened up the cupboard underneath here um there you go that's a good sign of of dust there <laughs> yeah so there's still got yellow stuff on here i'm gonna have to give that a quick wipe that's from the fridge but um otherwise yeah okay so 
be prepared for some dust. <laughs> so let's talk about food um, so obviously um, you saw what we got before we left um, I'm gonna show you what we came back with I think we did pretty well um, so we actually came back with nothing <laughs> yeah you saw um, before we when we left broom we'd spent about seven hundred dollars um, and um, we had a a couple of extra like emergency waters we didn't really know what the deal was with water on the gib but we didn't use it so we were absolutely fine so um you don't in my opinion you don't need emergency water or extra water you can just use unless you're going to free camp a lot so um but otherwise um yeah should be fine yeah so i'll show you how much food we got left we have to be fair i don't think we ate as much as we normally would um you know we're walking every day you kind of um you know you're doing these big gorges some days we we might even have just a piece of fruit for breakfast instead of like we had bacon eggs or uh, pancakes planned or something like that so really this was all full at the back here i almost got a little bit more than what i thought i would have needed just in case because everything on the gib is so so expensive um if you haven't watched some of the episodes um, I paid six dollars for one liter of milk. Um, yeah, we uh, make sure you get gas as well. Check your gas. We paid one hundred and eighteen dollars for um, a gas bottle, um, but everything just had a bit of a gib tax on it. So as soon as we hit corrugations, um, our fruit and veg kind of went really, really bad. We had to chuck out loads of tomatoes, um, a couple of cucumbers, um, some apples, and stuff like that because the corrugations just absolutely messed with them so it, there's that as well so you, you can take your fresh fruit and fresh vegetables but um yeah they in the fridges they just absolutely unless i don't know i don't know what the way around that is whether you really really jam pack it but i feel like i did jam pack it i don't know i i, I, I wish i could help you just i'm telling you what our situation was and hopefully that helps someone um but yeah we came back with quite a few uh, packets for about three or four packets of wraps there that we use that we bought we bought about um 12 to start with because we thought wraps last forever and we can have a wrap for breakfast if we, we're going out quickly we can have wraps for lunch um but otherwise yeah we still got a couple of bags of uh, pasta um and stuff like that but it's definitely um we've definitely utilized our food a lot and you kind of have to because um there's nothing out there <laughs> unless you do want to go spend a lot of money uh we did go out for dinner maybe three times so um yeah look if i knew that our fridge was gonna break i probably wouldn't have done that because <laughs> we needed to eat our food but it all worked out in the end that was fine but um yeah so look there's places to eat out on uh you know at el Cristro, at um home valley um uh so yeah if you know you're going to eat out maybe just don't get that sort of that food for that day but yeah i would definitely recommend plan because um if you get stuck and you don't have enough food uh or say like baby wipes or milk or whatever it is you will have to pay a little bit of money um and also make sure you have enough tape um that's my number one uh we had three massive rolls of tape the big ones um and we used it i reckon we should have got four maybe five just to be absolutely safe but um but yeah, little rolls of tape on the gib were $12.50 just for little rolls. So again, why not stock up before you go? And that way you're not spending stupid amount of money um, for stuff on the gib. <laughs> um, a little bit more um, info about the food. Um, I don't, um, don't travel with um, long life milk in the fridge. Um, pretty much all of us that did either it leaked or um split i think i don't know whether the cardboard gets soft in the fridge and then with everything moving around i can't think of anything else that people had problems with 
Oh, dips. jars. Oh, yeah, dips. Dips were the worst. I dips were the worst. They, they came out. Everyone had exploded dips. Um, uh, jars, like actually closed jars of like garlic or semi-dry tomato. They actually opened up in the fridge. Um, I don't know if you remember I, I said um, that I actually got rid of my garlic because um, I remember from the Cape, it was garlic. awful. The, the, the actual garlic lid came Nothing. off and it went all over the fridge and everything everything tasted like garlic it was absolutely foul but yeah and, and another trick as well if for corrugations and for jars and stuff i don't know it's a bit of a hassle but putting elastic bands around each of your jars and it just stops them from um rubbing against each other because actually emma and damo had a can of baked beans that exploded <laughs> I didn't say it, but I heard that. Before. I heard it was. There's there's a few tips out there. I'm trying to think of some more. Um, so before we went, we actually uh, did a bit of a light test back in Geraldton a while ago. Um, I shone the light um, underneath, so underneath all of here uh, for TJ. So I would have done it in this little bit here where the um, where the pipe goes, and wherever he could have seen light underneath, he put some more silicon, and that was just to sort of save the dust um, and hopefully be, be dust free it didn't fully work i think you're always going to miss little spots but it's definitely not as bad as what it was with the cave like here you can see that there but it's not um it's absolutely not crazy at all um the cape was ridiculous um it was absolutely bad it'd be nice to be dust free but we did what we can and we've come out quite well with the dust but anyway yeah, I'm going to finish off, off my cleaning and um, hopefully get rid of as much dust as I can. <laughs> the van's all sweet, nothing broken, so... Um, so pool noodle it was all, all It was up. all pretty much pool noodle anyway. From the um, cape. From the cape. You just, just did a few extras. Yeah, just on the taps of the drain of the... What's it called? The oh, drain know. hose out of the <laughs> water tanks. Because I think... Did Jordan break his? I think his broke. He broke the little nipple part of it. That's what broke it ours at the wounded out of track at the end. Um, and I put pool noodles under it and it's fine. So Well there you go. Yeah. So our uh, gib prep maintenance um really worked. And pool noodles is the way to go. Someone actually also said um yeah, the idea. sheet, wasn't it? Oh they said get some conveyor belt rubber and just screw it to your chassis all the way under over everything. So you don't have to singly wrap all your pipes, which I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. We would have saved a lot of pool hassle and, and going to Bunnings and try and find I 20 pool just... noodles. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is us. That is our gib prep. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully I have not forgotten anything. I don't think I have. Uh, so that's the whole Gib series done, dusted. Um, thank you so much for all coming along and um, watching us. And um, yeah, it's been really, really nice. But anyway, I can't wait to have a early night's sleep. Stay tuned for Wednesdays. That's going to be our weekly episodes. And um, first one back is Carrigini. So, um, yeah, can't wait to show you that. It was bloody epic. Um, we will, but, yeah. um, we will, we'll throw some Sunday ones and everything. Just do Says the person who doesn't edit again. No, you need I'll, to stop making these I'll, claims, babe. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll film You're making me work harder. Uh, yes, okay, so if we're feeling nice to you, we'll give you a Sunday episode every now and again. But yeah, stay tuned for Wednesday nights. That's our normal uh, weekly episodes. And um, yeah, thank you so much for all coming along. And we hope you enjoy all of our other travels. And um, yeah, stay tuned. But thanks, guys. Bye -bye. Thanks, guys. See ya. <laughs> Bye.